White is the superior race. Let me ask you a question. If white is the superior race, four questions for my white supremacists real quick. Four questions for my white supremacists real quick. Much respect to the white folks who are here respectfully. Much respect to the white folks who are here respectfully. But I got four questions for the white supremacists. If you are supreme, if you are supreme, and I assume that means genetically, intellectually, spiritually. Okay, I assume white supremacy presumes that you are superior genetically, spiritually, intellectually, and physically. Let's just let's do those four. Genetically, spiritually, intellectually, and physically. Let's go th through those four for my white supremacy. Let's deal with genetics. If you are superior to black people, why are you not able to reproduce yourself with any of the other human races? The only way a white man or woman can reproduce yourself is with another white man or woman. You have no genetic power when you mix with another race. If you mix with a black person, that child is an African. If you mix with a Chinese, that child is a Chinese. If you mix with an Arab, that child becomes an Arab. If you mix with a Latino, that child becomes a Latino. If the white man is indeed superior, why are you not able to reproduce yourself with the woman of another color? I need an answer to that for my white supremacist because you're supreme. So that's number one. That's the genetic. Let's go to the physical. If you are physically superior as a group, if whites are physically superior to Africans, why is it every sport we enter, we dominate you and everybody else in it? Tiger Woods was one man. And dominated the whole sport of golf. Serena Williams was one woman. And dominated the whole sport of tennis. We just won gold for ice skating. We just won gold for swimming. Any physical contest. Black people enter. Give us five years. We will be on top of the sport. Let us continue. And this is the reason. Why you Neanderthals. Disconnected. Physical talent from intellectual talent. That's why you cut it off. Because physical talent is a measure of intellectual talent. It's not a full measure, but it is an aspect. Because everything you do physically is connected to mental decisions and events. But you disconnected physical talent from intellectual talent because you know you're not physically more gifted than black people. The whole world knows that. Okay? Let's continue. So we've done the ge genetic you can't reproduce yourself. We've done the physical. We outperform you in every field. Okay? Let's do the spiritual. And I'm only talking to the white supremacists. No disrespect. The, the openly white supremacists. No disrespect to the other white folks. If you are spiritually superior to black people, why has God never sent a single prophet or deity in your image. I'm asking an honest question. I'm asking an honest question. White Jesus is your invention. And it's a relatively modern invention. White Muhammad is your invention. And it's a relatively modern invention. In fact, if we were to be honest, one of the reasons you created the superheroes. One of the reasons White folks are so infatuated with superheroes and comic book characters is because you have none in the Bible. You have none in the Torah. You have none in the Quran. You have no superheroes in the Bible. You have no superheroes in the Quran. You have no superheroes in the Torah. So guess what you did? You had to make your own superheroes and guess where you got them from? You know what you did? You went to African spirituality 
and you stole the archetypes of our divinities. You stole them, and I'm going to run them down to you right now. You stole Shango, the divinity of leadership and revolution. You stole his archetype. You stole his colors, red and gold. You stole his weapon, the double-sided axe. You stole his nature element, thunder, and you created a character named Thor from Shango. And then you went back and you stole Ogun. You took his machetes and you put them on a man named Logan. And Logan has three machetes on this hand and three machetes on this hand. The Wolverine, his power is like iron. His number is three. And if you take the L off Logan, you almost get the name Ogun. Let me continue. You went back to Yoruba culture and you stole the divinity Oya. Yes, you did. You stole her element, the, the winds and the tornado. You stole her color, African woman, and you turned her into storm. Holly Berry's storm is the divinity Oya. Thor is Shan Go. Wolverine is Ogun. Aquaman. Aquaman. You stole Olokun, the owner of water, and you brought him to America and you called him Aquaman, the owner of the ocean. And then you stole Obatala, the father of consciousness. You stole the old wise divinity and you turned him into Charles Xavier, the elder of the X-Men, whose natural element is what? Consciousness. Is it a coincidence that Obatala is the elder who rules consciousness? Charles Xavier in the wheelchair is the element that rules consciousness. So since you didn't have any superheroes in the Bible, and since you didn't have any superheroes in the Quran, and since you didn't have any superheroes in the Torah, you stole our deities and turned them into X-Men in Marvel Comics. I need an answer to my question, white supremacists. If you are so supreme over black folks, why did God not send a single prophet from any religion, from any religion? God didn't send a single prophet in your color, which is the absence of color. White is not a color. White is blanco, nothing, missing, deficiency. White skin is a genetic deficiency. It is a mutation. Blue eyes is a genetic deficiency. It's a mutation. I'm not disrespecting you, white people. And I'm not claiming to be superior to you. I do not have to claim superiority over any man. I am not on this planet to be your superior. I am on this planet to live out and accomplish my God-given destiny. I have no need to claim superiority to any other man. I don't care what color he is. But since you claim to be supreme, I must ask you these questions. Where is the proof of your spiritual superiority? Where is the proof of your physical superiority? Where is the proof of your genetic superiority? Now let's talk about the intellectual. If you are in fact superior to black folks, why is it on tests of intelligence from birth to age five, black children outperform the children of every other race on the planet? Can I ask you another question? If you are more intelligent than us, why did you include a verbal scale on all of your major IQ tests, and I know because I give IQ tests as a school psychologist, if you are intellectually superior to black people, why do you need a verbal scale to measure intelligence? Everybody knows that vocabulary is not a measure of innate intelligence. You are taught vocabulary. You are trained with vocabulary. You get vocabulary through education. That's not a measure of innate intelligence to describe vocabulary words. But you put that on the IQ test to make sure black children score lower than white children. 
If you take out that vocabulary, verbal IQ scale, I promise you black kids will outperform your children. Let's go for it. Are you aware that half of your inventions in this country, the cell phone that I'm on right now, the cell phone, the internet that I'm using right now, the cell phone and the internet that I'm using right now were invented by black people. The Mr. Softy ice cream truck that I hear outside right now invented by black people. The golf tee, the stoplight, the gas mask, black people. The helicopter, black people. I can go on and on. If you are so intellectually superior, why is it that an enslaved, despised, dehumanized people are responsible for giving birth to the greatest technological creations in your society. In other words, if all black people packed up and went to Africa and we took all of our inventions with us, what would you have left behind except AIDS and COVID? I would like to know. If we took everything we invented from this damn country, everything, the self-lubricating car engine, every car that drives in the world, let me say this again, if you drive a car, a bus, a motorcycle, a van, I don't care if you drive it in Asia. I don't care if you drive it in Europe. I don't care if you drive it in America. I don't care if you drive it in the Caribbean. I don't care if you drive it in the South Pacific, Canada. If you are in a car right now, it has a self-lubricating engine. You know why it has a self-lubricating engine? Because a black man invented the self-lubricating engine. So please, white folks, don't play the you're superior to anybody. In fact, from a psychological standpoint, if I can quote one of your own Sigmund Freud, if I can quote some of your own white psychologists, they say that a superiority complex is really a mask for a deep-seated inferiority complex. According to your white psychologists, a superiority complex is really a mask for a deep-seated inferiority complex. According to your psychologist, Sigmund Freud, Carl Jung, Alfred Adler, Anna Freud, they all taught. I have a doctorate in it. I got three masters in it. I got a bachelor's in it. They taught that a superiority complex is a defense mechanism. A superiority complex is a defense mechanism intended to hide your deep-seated inferiority complex.